So I'm gonna do a very true unboxing today. I purchased a Kakimori nib. Um, so I am going to actually open this up from the bottom. Cute. Mm. Okay, so here is the little, the little box, Kakimori metal nib, and I got the brass. And here is the handle, or the nib holder, and it is in Sakura wood. It looks like they actually use a pen to check that off. That's cute. Right, so here's the handle. And there's the nib. So pretty. Well, I think we should play. Don't know about you, but I think it would be really nice to look at some inks with Some shading, some chromo, shifting, um, hmm, and some sparkle. Ooh, I'm gonna grab some of these. Okay, um, here's my bin of samples. I think it'd be good to try some of this sailor. And let's see, probably the, at least one of the Vinta. Ooh, Vinta Macopa. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And let's see. Oh, the A and. Okay. So I have picked out a small assortment of options. And I have my water. Oh, and I'm going to start with Macopa. All right, so it's my very first time using this nib. I just got just the tip. So from what I've seen, if you're holding it more at a, I guess, lower angle. Ooh, look at that thick, thick, thick line. Versus straight up and down. Well, I guess that's more straight up and down. This 
is Vinta Macopa. Today is November 28th, 2022, but this video will be posted at a later point in time, probably the second week of December is where I'm scheduling out at this point. Color on me. All right, I'm going to turn this page to get to a little bit more of a natural writing position for myself. Because I just want to play with, first of all, to check out the ink capacity. But I also want to play with the line widths. Well, that's a nice, look at that nice thin line. Oh, this is fun. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. So with all of that writing, there's still a tiny bit of ink left, but it's actually not a ton. And when I rinse, not a lot of ink came out in the jar. Ooh, yay. Okay, so now let's try Mon Sailor Manio Koki, perhaps. I did not get too much ink there, that's okay. Now, sailor inks, in my experience, do tend to be a little watery, but I might want to do a better job of drying out the nib. Sailor. Manio. Koki. I can definitely get quite a bit of line variation. Oh, yes. Nice, now I just have to figure out how do I get the moisture out?
Or is it not a moisture thing? Was that just the sailor ink? Could have been just the sailor ink for sure. Okay. Now let's try the A and. those beautiful line variations my goodness ah oh, I love it I love it so much love it so much might be my favorite day. I feel like quoting the Step Brothers movie of I can do so many activities. All right, we're gonna try a shimmer. I have Adventurine by Ferris Wheel Press. Just agitating the ink a little bit to get the glitter dispersed knowing that once I put it down and start unscrewing, it's going to start settling. Oop, that barely fits. Okay. What a beautiful gray. is adventuring Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, love it. Another sailor kang kang you perhaps
I really like this ink. <laughs> I should use it much more. That is beautiful. This one, this is a uh, Sailor Manyo Haha. starting to get a little bit more comfortable writing with this. My uh, handwriting is looking a little bit more like mine. How fine that can get. That is amazing. Well, goodness, I might have just found my new favorite thing. And this can absolutely hold quite a bit of ink. I would very, very highly recommend this. Very highly recommend this. Wow. Well, I imagine I said the word wow quite a bit. I also wonder, I don't know how quick it would be to find it. I'm not gonna spend a significant amount of time, but hmm. yes, I'm not going to find it quickly. Um, if I had been a little bit more patient, I would have sought out my old original dip pen to see if this nib would fit in that holder just to see if I would recommend perhaps some savings on buying the holder but this um, it's very lightweight I like the thickness of the grip section it didn't take long for me to feel like I started to adjust to writing with it um, and get to my own Kind of writing style um, and I definitely want to do some journaling with it just to see or just to continue to play with it so yeah it's got a nice fit um, which is that for me is really important because I did get a moon man glass dip pen and it the it was one of the ones that had the glass glass nib as well as a fountain pen nib and where the glass nib fits in it became very loose that if i held it upright and um, in the process of dipping it into ink the glass nib would fall out and i have this huge fear of losing the glass nib in a bottle of ink so i have stopped using it and um, that's 
a big reason why this was such a um, awaited purchase for me as well as the ability to play around with the um, the line width and be able to swatch inks with one tool so um, I in future swatch videos you'll see me swatch with this nib and do my writing sample um, it's gonna make for nice cleanup I'm gonna save on some cotton swabs and um, not waste as much ink that's the other thing with cotton swabs is I feel like that's just a big waste of ink and what gets saturated into the cotton bud so anyway I'm rambling at this point because I am just so excited um, I am very happy to share this with you all and if you have a kakimori uh, brass nib or steel nib I'd love to hear your thoughts on it um, and I hope that you find the kind of joy that I found in this in something today. Thanks!